The epidemiological triad is a model which helps us better understand the causation of diseases. The occurrence of a disease requires a causative organism known as an agent as well as the person in whom the organism will cause the disease known as the host. Now, you might think that these two factors are enough to cause disease, but always remember the surrounding environment of the agent and host dictates the occurrence of a disease. The triad thus, as you can see in the image, has the agent, host and environment at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. But notice how the environment is at the tip of the triangle. Environment plays a pivotal role in the causation of a disease. Irrespective of the presence of an agent and host, until and unless the environment is favorable, there will be no occurrence of a disease. Now, let's understand each constituent of this triad. First is the agent, which we know is the causative organism of a disease. They could be biological like bacteria or could also be non-living agents like viruses. Viruses are considered to be non-living because they cannot reproduce on their own and they require a host cell to replicate. However, they can still cause disease by infecting and damaging the host cells. Human immunodeficiency virus is an example of an agent which is transmitted through blood, semen, vaginal secretions, etc. It belongs to the retrovirus family and attacks the immune system by inserting its genetic material into the DNA of the host. This is an example of a biological agent. Other bacteria and viruses like HPV, HSV, E. coli, etc. can also attack the host and cause the disease. However, there can be other causes like nutrient deficiencies, chemical agents also. Certain nutritional deficiencies like that of proteins and fats could also lead to diseases, thus accounting for nutrient agents. Also, chemical agents like lead and arsenic along with physical agents like temperature and atmospheric pressure are also some examples. Lastly, there are certain social agents like poverty and smoking which can also lead to disorders. The next constituent is the host, which is the man himself. In the case of our example of HIV, the host refers to the person who is infected with the virus which will affect the CD4 cells and further weaken the immune system over time, making the host susceptible to other infections. Now, there are certain host factors which help us determine how the host will react to the agent in a particular environment. These could include demographic characteristics like age and sex, biological characters like blood group or the genetic background of the host. The socio-economic background of the host along with his lifestyle can also affect the occurrence of a disease. Now, let's consider a host who is resistant or semi-resistant to an agent. In this case, instead of getting affected, the host now becomes a carrier who himself will not get affected but will cause the disease in others. Lastly, the most important constituent is the environment, which sits at the tip of the triangle. Environment is the source for the agents which then also helps with the transmission of these agents to the host. There may be instances when the environment is favorable to man and unfavorable to the agent or vice versa. The environment of a man could be internal as well as external. As the term suggests, the internal environment is directly related to the inner health of an individual while the external environment includes all that is external to the individual human. Circling back to our case scenario of HIV, external factors mostly contribute to the spread of the disease. This includes risky behavior such as unprotected sexual contact, sharing needles and receiving blood transfusions. Factors such as poverty, lack of access to healthcare and stigma surrounding HIV can also contribute to the spread of the disease. Now, the environment can be studied as physical, biological and social environment. The physical environment is concerned with the space around the host like air, water, etc. While the biological environment includes all living things surrounding man, which might also act as reservoirs of germs or act as causative agents themselves. Lastly, the social environment includes the humans surrounding a man and their interactions. It could include cultural activities or customs, etc. Thus, the takeaway point for this topic should be the epidemiological triad is significant since it acknowledges the role of the host and their immediate surroundings alongside the role of an agent rather than only considering the agent as the cause of a disease. Thank you.
For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.